First democratically elected president Mohamed Morsi was pushed out, ousted by the military yesterday. ABC's global affairs anchor Christian Amanpour and ABC's Martha Raddatz are here live. But first, let's go to ABC's Alex Marquardt with the very latest from Cairo this morning. Alex. <laughs> Good morning, Elizabeth. It's clear the military is trying to shut down Morsi's power base, the long outlawed Islamist group, the Muslim Brotherhood. They have arrested Morsi, several top officials, and issued arrest warrants for around 300 of its members. It's clear the military is trying to take this over, take this country over, as smoothly as possible. Jubilation erupting on Tahrir Square as the news spread that President Morsi had been deposed. Yet another Egyptian leader taken down by the people on this now iconic square. For every single blood that have been shed in this country, we've been waiting for this moment. Anger had been growing against Morsi. His opponents accused him of doing nothing to fix Egypt's severe economic crisis and said his party, the Muslim Brotherhood, was trying to control Egyptian life. They were changing us. They were changing the way we dress up, the way we talk, the way we even deal in, within the society. So on Sunday, the first anniversary of Morsi's election, nationwide demonstrations were called. Millions turned out in what's believed to be the country's biggest protests ever. The crowd so big, the anger so deep, that on Monday at 5 p.m., the military issued an ultimatum to Morsi. Heed the people's demands or we'll intervene. As military helicopters flew over Tahrir Square, the crowds roared, convinced the military was on their side. Just before midnight on Tuesday, Morsi took to the airwaves, slamming the military's ultimatum and arguing he was elected legitimately. Morsi's supporters said he just needed more time. We would like to give Dr. Morsi the full chance in order to achieve our hopes. On Wednesday afternoon, the ultimatum expired. As the crowds grew, so did the confusion. You have no idea who's running the country right now. Not right now, at this moment, we have no idea. Then, at 9 p.m., the military made their announcement. Morsi was out. Euphoria on Tahrir and fury at the Muslim Brotherhood protest just six miles away. In an online video released minutes later, Morsi lashed out, saying the revolution was stolen and warning ominously, whoever planned this, he said, wants to spill the blood of the Egyptian people. There's still a small celebration going on here on Tahrir. They've been firing off some fireworks. Just a short time ago, the new interim president was sworn in. He is Egypt's top constitutional judge. The military is trying hard to make sure that this doesn't look like a coup, but Morsi supporters are saying that's exactly what it is, and they have vowed to stay in the streets.